In this video, we'll take a look at a new feature that we'd like to add to CliffX Pro, which is OSC support. Before adding it as a standard feature though, we need to do some testing on it, and we can use your help with that. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description of this video where you can find the files and information you need to try out this new feature. If you're not familiar with OSC, no worries, it's not really important. Uh, what we're going to be talking about in this video are the benefits of having OSC support in CliffX Pro. The first and most obvious benefit is that we can have another type of X trigger, another way of triggering CliffX Pro actions, from any number of devices or apps that can send OSC messages. For this example, I've got an iPad running the Lemur app and an iPhone running the Touch OSC app. From the iPad, I can do things like bump the tempo up, control basic transport functions, and navigate around. From the iPhone, I can recall snapshots. And of course, these are just examples. We can trigger any CliffX Pro actions this way. Another benefit is that we can create arbitrary interfaces that display different sorts of information and add new functionality. One example of that is called Session Viewer. This can be attached to any control surface script that has a session mode. Some examples are the Launchpad range, the APC range, and Arsenal Powered Control Surface scripts. For this example, I'll be using it with the Launchpad Mini. I want to point out, though, that I'm not using any specialized Launchpad script. This is the standard Launchpad script that's included with Live. All of the quote-unquote magic is occurring in CliffX Pro. This allows me to see the names, colors, and level meters of the eight tracks that I'm controlling, as well as the names, colors, and playing positions of the clips playing on those tracks. I've also got some basic transport functionality and the ability to modify the functionality of the launch pad. Right now it's launching clips and scenes. If I hold down the select button, now I can select clips. If I hold down duplicate, I can duplicate clips. And if I hold down delete, I can delete clips. And I've also got undo and redo functionality here as well. So as you can see, OSC support in CliffX Pro would be a great feature to have. If you'd like to see that happen, please try the files available on the forum and let us know how you make out. 